it's sad when I see that people are looking for quick and easy money. Quick and easy money. Why wouldn't anyone want that? Why is that sad? Well, I think it's important to understand where money comes from. Or let's do it on a very practical basis. Where does your money come from? Where does your income come from? Making money, how does that happen? Your money comes from other people giving money to you. Or they give money into a system which then gives it to you. So when we say we want quick and easy money, what we're actually saying is that we want money to be given to us quickly and easily. Where does the money come from? Again, it comes from other people ultimately deciding to spend money on a product or to put money into some kind of system. So ultimately, your quick and easy money was taken from somebody else. So we often forget this when we are thinking, ah, I just have to solve the problem of money. If I could just have plenty of money, if I didn't have to worry about it, then I could live life on my terms. And when I see people yearn for that, I, and I, I feel sad about it because it probably means they are quite exhausted with work and with life. Because when we are feeling well-rested, when we're feeling renewed, then we are much more likely to be in touch with our deeper purpose with our, with our higher values. And hopefully you agree with me that uh, one of the important values in life is right livelihood, which is essentially to earn an honest living. And to simplify it here uh, in our conversation here, it means to take money from other people in a way that they feel was really worthwhile. To receive the money that other people are giving you or putting into a system in a way where everyone feels glad. These days, when people say quick and easy money, they usually mean some kind of get rich quick investment. Like, well, these days, cryptocurrency is so popular. And I know uh, some of you are really into crypto, and I apologize for uh, not being really into it. I mean, I have close family members who are very much into that as well. And basically, what I want you to do is to please look into the greater fool theory. Again, what to Google here is greater fool theory. The idea is basically that an investment that isn't inherently based on something of sustainable value for the world is going to make quick money because I buy the investment at a low uh, or at you know at, at the current price, believing that it's going to the price is going to go up quickly, and a greater fool will buy it at a higher price. So because only if the greater fool buys at a higher price, will I be able to then sell it? Ultimately, right, invest, investment that are not built on uh, assets with sustainable value, such as worthwhile companies that make products that society loves, right? That is sustainable because a company will, will keep making products and society will keep buying those products and therefore the value of the company becomes greater and greater and greater because they'll keep coming up with new products or there are going to be new markets, new people buying into it. That's why, you know, um, that's why this, the stock market as a whole, index funds, are much more sustainable, uh, much less volatile than cryptocurrency. Because at this time in society, cryptocurrency is questionably based on 
or the, the inherent value of many of the meme coins, particularly um, the silly things like Doge coins and things like that. It's not really based on any value that society agrees on yet. It's just like, let me buy it now and hopefully someone will sell, uh, will buy it from me at a higher price later. And they may or may not be able to sell it to anybody else at a higher price. So the greater fool theory, I think is important for all everybody who's interested in crypto to please look into. Um, anyway, I'm not saying that there are, there, there are some crypto that are based in and more, uh, more sustainably based in inherent value. But anyway, let's go back to this idea of quick and easy money. If we don't, uh, if we're not trying to make, if, if we are well rested, and if we return to our deeper self, our higher values, then we realize that we wanna make money in a way that is really authentic for us, okay? Quick and easy become less important when we are, when we are well rested and when we are connected to our purpose. Isn't that true? Because if we are day to day doing work that makes us proud, where we can see that we are bringing real value to the world, to other people, then does it, mean, does it matter that the money comes quickly and easily? Now, I, I, I do know that some people I'm sure watching this have gotten themselves into um, a financial situation where they are desperate to pay off debt or, um, yeah, I think, I think paying off debt, that's a really hard one. And I'm not qualified to teach you how to pay off debt. Uh, there are other, you know, videos you can go watch to, to do that. I hope, by the way, that if you do need to pay off debt, again, be careful of the people who are going to try to sell you on quick, easy ways to pay off your debt because they are probably cheating you in some other way. Uh, they make money by selling you a quick, easy system to pay off debt. Um, but if, if it's not like urgent debt related, then you might be having uh, desires for, oh, I have, I, I want to buy, I want lots of money quickly to be able to, to do this, to buy that, to support that cause. And again, I invite you to come back just to asking yourself, am I exhausted? Am I overwhelmed? Am I happy about my day-to-day -day work life? Because if you are happy about your day-to-day -day work life, then you'll be less distracted by the desire to replace your current experience, right? If you're happy day-to-day, -day, why do you need to, you know, yeah, why do you need anything, <laughs> right? So, all right, let's, let's, let's keep going on this quick, easy money thing. So if quick, easy money is probably based on a foundation of exhaustion, that desire anyway, and if we rest, okay, then we realize, okay, so making authentic money for most of us, cannot be both quick and easy. Let's talk this through. There's essentially this triangle of authentic, quick, and easy. You know, it's like um, the, the very wise service providers who say, okay, if you want my product or my service, you can either get it uh, quickly, cheaply, or high quality, right? <laughs> You can't have all three. You can have maybe two out of the three. If you want it quick and with high quality, it's not going to be cheap, right? If you want it uh, cheap and high quality, it's not going to be quick. If you want it high quality, and which, which one? If you want it quick and, and cheaply, it's not going to be high quality, right? So it's that same triangle when it comes to making money. If you want it authentic, you can't have both quick and easy unless you already are very good at business and you have a large enough warm audience. I mean, I'm grateful to say that it has taken me many years to develop this kind of audience where 
I'm, I, I do have a, a large enough quick audience, large enough warm audience where if I needed to make money quickly and easily, I probably could. I could just quickly sell you guys something that I know you all want. And, uh, you know, then I'll, then I'll, you know, I'll deliver to you. It might not be easy for me actually, because, um, you know, if, if, if it was something that I was already easily going to de deliver to you, I would have already sold it to you, right? But I, but I could make money authentically and quickly, but I just have to work, work at it. So, so basically, let's talk about how you could make money authentically and quickly, okay? To do that, you need to already have a large enough audience or network of people who trust you who believe in your skills and you are therefore able to deliver them a service or product that they will snatch up right away, that they will hire you for uh, if it's a service, they, they will buy from you if it's a product. You already have a large enough audience that would do that. And it's a product that you believe in. So if you, if you have a large enough audience who trust you and you have a service or product you really believe in that they trust you for, then yes, you can make money authentically and quickly. Might not be easy because to make enough money means you have to take, take small amounts of money from a lot of people or to take large amounts of money from a few people. And that's usually not easy to do either one because that means you have to work at actually providing a product you really believe in. And that's not necessarily easy, right? That, that makes them feel that that was valuable. Okay, so that's authentic and quick money. What about authentic and easy money? Okay, you can absolutely do that. It's just not going to be quick. And this is, I think, where a lot of you have been making the mistake in your thinking for, you know, I just encounter people on a, on a you know, daily basis almost that have this fallacy of thinking. I, I don't know where you got the idea that building a six-figure business can be done in one year. Where did you get the idea? Please let me know because I want to set those people right. Building a six-figure business usually takes authentic. I should, let me go back to that. Building a six-figure, $100,000 plus a year income, authentic, or even $70,000. Let's just be real. Even $5,000 a month. Okay, $5,000 a month of authentic money, meaning you're not deceiving people, hyping people, or manipulating people, okay? You're de delivering something of real quality to people who are, you know, are going to believe and therefore going to hire you or buy from you. Making even $5,000 a month authentically, for most people, I mean, I've seen this now with thousands of people over 12 years, people both who are my clients and who are not my clients, I've seen this for most people, it doesn't happen within one year. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying, no, George, don't put limiting thoughts in my head. No, no, it's not limiting thoughts when I'm simply giving you the history of the reality. But I'm not, I'm not normal, George. I'm, super, I'm extraordinary. <laughs> I'm smarter than most people, or I'm harder working than most people. Yeah, everybody says that. Everybody says that, that I've encountered who try to make money, you know, $5,000, $10,000, within one year of, of, of ongoing, you know, ongoing income, you know? Um, either they can't do it in one year and it takes longer than a year. How long does it take, George? I don't know. I, am I, do you want me to tell you it takes two years or four years? Well, then what are you gonna do? You're gonna just sit back and wait for two to four years? No, George, tell me exactly what to do, step one, two, three, and tell me exactly how long it's gonna take. If I could tell you that, if anybody could tell you that, please let me know who. I, I genuinely, please send me their link to say, this person is telling me that I can make this much money with these exact steps in this amount of time, because that person should be praised to the high heavens, because that person somehow miraculously is able to predict how you're going to do things. That person somehow knows you so well. They know your tech savvy, how tech savvy you are. They know how hardworking you are. They know how um, how, uh, you know, how much you understand your industry and how much you understand your market, that person is amazing. I don't know how long you talked to that person, how much they studied your life and how much time they spent with you. But to make that prediction is truly is extraordinary. 
please let me know who they are because I'd like for them to, to coach me too, to be able to make those kinds of accurate predictions. You see what I'm saying? Whoever is make, giving you some kind of accurate prediction that this is going to happen, we know you're going to be able to make this much money by doing these 10 steps exactly as I tell you to, and it's going to feel authentic and good to you, okay? If it's going to feel like it's something that's actually worthwhile spending of your time. I've never seen it. In, thir- in 12 years, full-time, I've been doing this full-time for 12 years, having seen hundreds of money-making systems, I have yet to come across a system that isn't about hyping people, manipulating people, or deceiving people to make money. In other words, an authentic system that could accurately predict how everybody who buys that, or even most people, let's just not even say everybody, even half of the people who buy that system and who work it step-by-step make an X dollar amount or even a, even, even a range, five to $10,000, give, give, give me a reasonable range to make a living for a family within, a, within, a, within even two years is, is even quick for most people. So honestly, I think most people who are feeling desperate or saying, I need to make this much money as soon as possible, either need to check your expectations and say, why am I, why am I needing to escape my current life? What's going on there? And maybe I need to work on that first. Why do I need to escape my current life? Because the, if, I, if I could suggest, you can find heaven in your current circumstances without changing it dramatically. Now, I, now, if you are in an abusive situation, then of course, I, I hope you are able to leave that situation gracefully and quickly. I truly do. But for those of us who are not in an abusive situation, you know, we can, we can make a heaven of our current life if we consciously work at it. And that's actually the fastest way, right, to create happiness. The fastest way to create joy is to take your current situation and make it a heaven. Now, there, I don't know how you're going to do it because there's many ways of doing it and it's um, dependent on your, you know, personal spiritual philosophy, but it's about appreciating your current circumstances, right? Like once you are able to make a heaven of your current situation without having to drastically change it, unless you're in an abusive situation, then you are well-resourced enough to say, why am I rushing so much to try to make so much money in such a short amount of time? I can take my time to make a true livelihood that would make me so thrilled every day in the work that I'm doing. And knowing that, you know, if I'm, if I'm happy about the work that I'm doing, I learn to work joyfully, productively, right? Then you're going to inevitably build a system for yourself of being able to make good money over time. And that's something I can say with confidence because of course I've developed it myself. I've seen other people develop it too. And it's, it's, it's this slow, steady progress. Now, it, it can be fast for some people. I'm not gonna say it's not gonna be because then saying that it's gonna be slow for everybody is also making a prediction. And that those predictions are, are not accurate for, for most of the people that's, that's you know. So some, some of you could be fast. But certainly, if it's done authentically, you will be happy and proud with how your money is made. So, like I said, I have close family members who do crypto stuff. Most of them who, you know, the, most of the people I know who, who've done crypto stuff either got lucky with Bitcoin and a few others, or they lost money, or it's still questionable well, because it's still going up and down. Right. And I just think, gosh, if if somebody made a lot of money, you know, with Bitcoin because they got lucky early on and bought it or or, you know, Ethereum or whatever, some other crypto, you know, they made a lot of money. I just I just have to wonder, like. Do you understand the greater fool theory and that somebody else probably got stuck with that higher price? 
and it may not go high enough for them to be able to make enough money. So I, I just don't think it's the most honorable money to be making um, unless that investment is built on inherent value um, that is sustainable. Anyway, so <laughs> off my soapbox about crypto for the moment and just encouraging you to come back to your heart, to prioritize your self-care and your awareness and appreciation of your current circumstances in your life so that with a sense of happiness, may you then dedicate yourself to joyful productivity in developing an authentic way of making plenty of money. I hope this is helpful. I look forward to your comments and questions below as always, and I wish you well. Take care.